Welcome to Channel 6 Big Bear News and Events. I'm John Wells. This week's news is brought to you by Bear Skins in the Village, Urgent Care in Bear Mountain Family Medicine, and the North Shore Tavern in Fawn Skin. Remember to watch Channel 6 crawl at the bottom of your screen for current weather and road conditions. And of course, you can watch all of our programming live on the website at www.channel6bigbear.com. We got an update late Friday morning uh, from Sacramento. Uh, bipartisan votes in the state Senate and state assembly have restored cuts to the home to school and special education funding. Mostly, however, state Bennett Senate Bill 81, which now awaits Governor Jerry Brown's signature, cuts the per-pupil funding by $42 per student. Figures from the Bear Valley Unified School District in a resolution sent to Sacramento urging approval of the bill show that instead of losing $163 in change per student, the, student, the district will only lose $42 per student. Still a significant reduction. So we recovered about $111 per student if the governor signs it. The vote in the Senate, State Senator Bob Dutton voted against SB 81, one of only six no votes. 26 voter, uh, senators voted yes. Assemblyman Paul Cook of Yucca Valley and Tim Conley of Twin Peaks both voted in favor of the measure. The assembly approved the bill with a 60 yes votes, eight no votes, and 12 no votes. That mean they didn't vote. The restoration of busing funds for the current school year may be good news for both Bear, both Bear Valley and Rim of the World school districts. However, as we know, in January, Governor Brown submitted his 2012-13 budget proposal calling for the elimination of all school transportation funding. This fight isn't over. A quick reminder for all of our locals interested in doing something about the government eliminating funding for school transportation transportation. Remember, there's a letter writing workshop sponsored by the local Get on the Bus group Tuesday at the middle school at 5.30 p.m. The Democratic Club of the Bear Valley invites you to attend their monthly meeting on Tuesday, February 7th at 6.30 p.m. This month's guest speaker will be Bear Valley School District Superintendent Kurt Madden. Kurt will speak about the state budget cuts and the continuing challenge we face in providing our children providing for our children. There will be a Q&A session following Kurt's presentation. All Valley residents are encouraged to join the discussion. The meeting will be at the MWD Meeting Room, located at the corner of Lakeview Drive and Big Bear Boulevard, next to Big Bear Marina, and refreshments will be served. I want to remind you, Valentine's Day is coming up. If you don't know what to get, Katz is selling C's candy for Valentine's Day. Community Arts Theater Society offers a wide variety of C's candy for Valentine's Day gift giving. The box candy is available at the Broadway Cafe. It's not an order. You can pick it up. The sales of C's candies is a fundraiser for the Katz Memorial Warehouse Fund. Uh, the Big Bear Lake um, Major Special Events Ad Hoc Committee meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, February 7th. You can download the agenda for this and other meetings on the Channel 6 website. Also, the Big Bear Airport District Finance Committee is scheduled for Tuesday, February 7th at 4 p.m. And the regular board meeting, director's board meeting for the airport, is on February 8th, Wednesday at 4 p.m. And again, you can download all that agenda. Now let's take a look at this week's weather. The storm system will drop southeast off the coast through Wednesday. It'll bring clouds and light precipitation across most of Southern California. The precipitation is expected to begin late today or this evening, but as it's a cutoff low and due to the storm's path and a deep dry layer near the surface, the timing's still a little shaky. Snow level will be around 6,000 feet. Some locations in our mountains could receive some accumulating snow, but a mountain look to be quite light at this time. Heavier amounts are possible if the storm tracks a little closer to the coast than expected. Today, uh, snow mainly after 4 p.m. high 47. Southwest winds between 5 and 15 miles an hour. Gusts as high as 20. Chance of precip today, 80%. Total daytime snow accumulation less than half an inch is all we're looking for. Tonight, snow mainly before 4 a.m. Low tonight over uh, about 17. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour becoming southeast. Chance of precip tonight, 80%. No snow, less than half an inch again. Wednesday, 20% chance of snow before 10. Mostly sunny with a high of 48 east winds. Um, and total side of the storm look to be not more than 1 to 3 inches, depending on where you're at in the valley. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Uh, low around 20 east winds, about 10 miles an hour. Thursday, sunny, high 52. Northeast winds around 10. Gust up to 20. 
Uh, and the weekend and the early part of next week looks like we'll have highs in the mid-50s and lows in the 20s. A few passing clouds over the weekend, but all in all, very nice. That's this week's top stories brought to you by Urgent Care and Bear Mountain Family Medicine on the Boulevard and Summit Plaza for all of life's little emergencies. And by Bearskins on Pine Knot in the Village, where since 1992 they've been providing locals and visitors alike all things Big Bear from infant to 3X. And by North Shore Tavern in Fonskin. Remember, Friday evening is Dollar Tacos, so come on over to Historic Fonskin, the gateway to the valley. Remember, you can watch all the Channel 6 programs live on the web at channel6bigbear.com. Just click Watch Live. And if you see breaking news or have an event, just email it to info at channel6bigbear.com. Tune at the top of the hour for breaking news as it happens. I'm John Wells for Channel 6, The Local Advantage. We now return to our regular programming.